We have eight freaking kids. We have three children, dear. Wait, really? But sometimes when things get really crazy, it feels like we're running a daycare. One with terrible reviews. We try our best to give our kids fun and engaging things to do, but between work, school, sports, we often find ourselves settling for chaos when we're home. And don't get me wrong, we love spending time with our kids. I mean, they just grow up so fast. <laughs> but sometimes we could really use a break then you two should get this book. Kids from the Adventure Challenge. It's a book filled with 30 unforgettable activities that are a mystery until you scratch them off. So instead of doing things like Don't do it! Oh they can enjoy doing things like creating their own show, making a bowling alley, or playing nature bingo. Now I could go on and on about how great this book is, but why hear it from me when we have a real life mom? Right here. <laughs> Tell me your secret. I don't know what you're talking about. Anna, why are your kids acting so perfect? They were just born that way. Liar! I know your kids. Two months ago, they were parked in front of the couch watching hours of television just like my kids. Look at him. He's a screen zombie. I like television. And look at your kids. They're doing something creative and intellectually stimulating. And they're getting along so well. What's your secret? I watch a lot of mindful parenting TikToks. <laughs> You want to do this the hard way. Do these look familiar to you? Is that a Cabernet or a Pinot you're sipping on at your daughter's soccer practice? Fine! I'll talk. I'm using the kids' book from the Adventure Challenge. I knew it. It's just so easy to use and the kids love it. Plus, it has a parent's guide so I can see everything they're going to do ahead of time. It's a great way to keep them entertained for hours. Cheater! Planning fun things for your kids to do is supposed to be hard. I thought we were in this together, Hannah. Yeah. Just me. Just ask Glory B from Madison, Wisconsin. She says my kids have never been entertained for so many hours without using a screen. Wisconsin kids are easy. What about Brad D from Brooklyn? This has made me feel like a super dad. I will go. I don't trust Brad's. What about the thousands of other parents who have left five star reviews? Well. I guess I can't argue with that. Parents are saying their kids are spending an average of 63 minutes on each activity in this book. 63 minutes? By themselves? And with 30 different challenges in the book? That's over 31 hours! What would you do with 31 hours of extra time? We've been very productive with our 31 hours. We've been working on passion projects, learning new hobbies. Please don't hurt me. Any honey yet? And we've been cleaning a lot more. Hurry, we only have 63 minutes. What are we gonna do for the other 62? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pregnant. Congratulations! I hear you're having another little one. I got you a card with no money in it and bedtime adventures. It's for younger kids who aren't quite ready for independent playtime yet. Helps make the bedtime routine fun for them and less stressful for you. I love when I can get my friends a gift. Are we friends or do you just keep appearing in our home? So that is pretty much everything you need to know about this book. Any questions? Yeah, question. Um, is this gonna be something that takes all of my time though? Because I am extremely busy. Great question. This was actually made for busy parents just like you. Mm, just like me? I have 90 businesses, so. Nine, wow, okay, that's a lot and of. And a farm. I also farm. Like I was saying, this book was specifically created by busy parents, so all the activities require very little setup, supplies, or adult supervision. Question, are these things gonna be messy and complicated? Because if I wanted that, I'd just have Paul's first marriage. It was a total train wreck. Just a disaster. Most of the adventures aren't messy at all, and the few that could be have this little icon next to them. So if you aren't in the mood for cleanup, tell your kids to save that one for the next time. Any more questions? Am I gonna need to buy a bunch of extra supplies for this? Because the last thing I need is for my kids to scratch something off, and then I have to run to the store to get a whole bunch of stuff. I hate the store. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Wait. I hate the store. Psst. 
he got kicked out of a Spencer's one time. He'd always go to the anime section with the girls on the t-shirts and he would just stare and stare and he'd whisper and he'd say, one day, one day you'll be all mine. So You sure know a lot about these people, don't you? Well, <clears throat> like I was saying, almost everything in here can be done with things from around the house. Oh, this, this book sounds kind of expensive. No, it's only like 30 bucks. Oh, well, in that case, I still can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm pretty serious. I don't have $30 in my bank account. All my businesses just keep losing money. Oh, one sec. Yep, go ahead. This is Nicholas. Mm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I loved having you as a customer, and uh, we're gonna miss you. Okay, well, I love you too, Mom. Bye. I just lost more money. You're still on the line, honey. Uh, so what other activities do you have in the book? Oh, thank God we can cut to the montage. Give your kids the gift of creativity, play, and imagination. The kids from the Adventure Challenge. Click the link to get 25% off right now. Yoo-hoo. Whatever happened to that nice lady had tied up? I want to go home! Please just click the link. Please.